All right, yeah, we're gonna do this. Okay, two cycles are good. Um, okay, so very small, I hope, tutorial. I don't want to waste too much time on this, but um, I wanted to share some of my insights on this boss fight and um, the ways, the many different ways to try to kill him. Uh, backup strats which are really important in runs because man he just like this is a kind of fight that just makes your nuts shrink real tiny like super hibernation turtle status uh, it's brown trousers time for sure to lay everything on the line with this boss so alright so let's say you don't care about um, being fast at all uh, here's what I recommend so you scoot forward immediately because this triggers the first flame to not be trolly and come back, wrap around the screen and get you. So you just start with a, a step to the right, boop, like that. Align yourself with the column above you, boop, and jump up, boop, and jump up. Okay, so once you've done that, you see the statue in the background, it's actually um, it's on top of the layout as well. It's the thing that houses the clown nose, which is now broken and shattered in, in the middle of the screen. And uh, he's got uh, he's got the shattered eye in the middle, and he's got like three sort of gills or whatever on the side. Um, and then there's like the black outline of those gills. Let's see if I could uh, highlight this for you. See. Um, I wish I had like a, a mouse to highlight this. this is gonna be difficult to uh, difficult to point out. See this thing, the black. See that where my sword just hit. That's way too far. See there, where the ed the tip of my sword hit. That's way too far in. Right there. Okay the black outline of the three gills things that are next to the shattered eyeball. When Jakio's little shreddy bits on the bottom, the little triangle shreddy things, when they hit that point, you can jump and hit him and come down without moving at all and not get hit. So the idea is you want to scoot forward, jump, jump, and then you want to tank the damage from the flames on the left by attacking yourself to the wall. You'll take a hit, you'll take the damage, but at least you're in control, and what you really want to try to avoid is body contact damage. See how much damage that did? It did three damage. It can really fuck you up that way. So that's what you don't want. Uh, you want to scoot forward, bloop, jump. Hug the wall. Bloop. Bloop. Hug the wall. Now, this time, on the third time, you're going to have to stab one of the flames if you want to continue this. And you just keep doing that. Even if you get hit, if you, as long as you stay in control most of the time and you just tank shots from the flames, You'll get him. It's a real easy way to kill him. Okay, so now if you want to get a little faster, there's something called sword canceling. Uh, every time you jump and slash, normally you just have to wait for the animation to finish before you can fire it off again. If you press down and B, it cancels the animation and as many as fast as you can do that is as many times you can slash in the air. Okay, so you can still hold the control like this and and fire off two hits. So we're gonna try the same method but with two hits. Tank damage. On the third one, you have to uh, you have to slash that uh, that flame. So the third one, and 
And that's a very reliable way to kill him. Without spin slash, of course. Alright, so if you wanna kill him a little bit faster, there are people who can mash pretty good this way, you know, holding the controller this way, and get like three slashes in the air. Aquas is one of them. Um, but other than that, you're gonna have to kind of position the controller this way, put up against your leg, a book, um, or you can make something really ridiculous like this. It kind of just holds the controller in place. Uh, this is like a pillow slash art table, writing table. You get them like at Michael's or any craft store really. Um, there's also the speed board, and NES speed board. Look that one up. That could probably help you in this case. Maybe the only practical application of, of that NES uh, peripheral, I guess. But anyway, you're going to have to get good at, at slashing three times in the air. For anything faster than that. Okay. Also keep in mind that Jakio's hitbox, for this kill, Jakio's hitbox is way up there. So all you need to do is slash him three times in the air at the height of your jump. This is the same as the other kills. Oops. Except you can get them in the three cycles. Which is actually still very good. It's certainly good enough for a sub 12. That's a three cycle. Very reliable, very easy. Mash Cat ETM by the Retro Runner. Yeah, it's gonna have a time I'm gonna make my first millions. Uh, again, so the easy three cycle scoot forward, look for the visual cue, one, two, three. Or even if you miss some, you could probably still get a three cycle, but that was gross. And again, I'm using that visual cue of the black outline. Whoops. That is adjacent to the. Uh, We'll call them three gills next to the eye. Um, anything faster than a three cycle using this me method, you're going to have to have a really insane mash. My mash is actually not that good. Um... Which I can't do. Biko does. Or Beko. I believe his name is Biko. It's Beko. My apologies. Uh, who's runner up for Ninja Gaiden? Insane O Mash. Um, so, so to more, some more advanced kills. Um, whoops. Oh, Jesus, what's up, dude? Kind of doing a little tut right now. Oops. To go for, um, like a two and a half, two cycle, one and a half cycle, aka the plate kill, you're gonna have to utilize the middle platform. Um, and there are tuts on this, but real quick. It's not really what I want to focus on, but um, what you do is jump in, like immediately. You hold right, you jump in immediately, hit him for two, and quickly turn around at the edge of the platform in the middle. There are a bunch of things that can go wrong, and uh, that's really what I want to focus on, the things that can go wrong. Then you have to slash the flame and try to like aim for the bottom of the flame so that you can have enough time to turn around again, hit him for more damage. I'm not getting the turn around. And if your mash is really good, you can kill him in one and a half cycles. A cycle being him going from the right. To the left, fully to the left is one cycle. Um, 
two and a half cycles is pretty good. So what I did there, jump immediately to the turnaround, slash, turnaround, two cycles is good. It's pretty, it's pretty damn good. Um, so as he's approaching me, after the second turnaround, after the sword slash, if I could pause it for you. So my next attack, I'm going to jump in the air and slash him, but then also jut myself forward so I damage boost off of him. Uh, and he gives me the distance to land back on the platform so I can turn around a third time and hopefully kill him on the left side for a two cycle. Or at least have a very good shot at getting a two and a half cycle. That was very good. Quite nearly a plate kill. Um, but yeah, that's the idea. There's a flame that's coming towards you from the left when you try to do that. When you land on the platform, you damage boost off of Jakio. So uh, I like to just avoid that flame. You can actually, I've seen people just slash right through it. Let's see if we can do that. But I wouldn't recommend that. It's pretty, pretty risky. Yo, Slush, thanks for the good luck. Um, so yeah, that's like best case scenario. Let me show you if your mash is not as good, but your movement is pretty good. Like, oh, I messed it up. Then you get back on the platform and try to hit him from the left again. How many play kills today? Well, none. <laughs> so far. Oh, my mash sucks. Jump on the platform and turn around and get him on the right. I don't know why this is uh, uh, messing me up so much. But two, that would be a two, another two and a half cycle, which is still very good. It's very good. Now, uh, this, uh, this sequence of action is like what you would do if you're trying for the 1.5 cycle or 2 cycle and if you miss the 2 cycle you can I really want to showcase that um, um, because it's very easy if you miss if your mash is not good enough What's going on here? What's going on? <laughs> this is supposed to be like the easy one. What's going on? My point is, anyway, if, if you mess it up, you can still get a two and a half cycle. Okay. Like that. Maybe I guess a good, di uh, a good idea might be to damage boost onto the middle platform, use your iframes to get them to the right. Though normally that, that flame really isn't a problem. Okay, so those are like the best case scenarios. Obviously 1.5 is superior. One and a half cycles. Now your mash has to be super accurate and super fast. Not just fast, just consistent. That was close. 
Consistent and accurate. But I want to mainly go over... What happens when any one of these st steps goes awry? What do you do? You're on pace for a personal best, world record, whatever. And what happens when you beef any one of these steps? Uh, before that, before I mention that, you can just go for a two and a half cycle in a very in a easier way than all this stuff. You can do this. And instead of the turn around, go to the left. I'm kind of incorporating the the other method. Again, the same visual cue with the 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 clown nose, the busted clown nose, the three gills on the side, and then the sort of black, the thick black outline. Jump! Oop. And uh, if you just want to get a uh, two and a half cycle like every time, that's a pretty pretty good way to go about it. You know, two, and two and a half is really good. It's really good. You can you can sub twelve with a, a three cycle. And all you need is to do th to be able to do three. You know, not four or five, six. Okay, what if we can't make a best two one? <laughs> Arcus has an amazing tutorial for beginners and uh, and advanced. Um, I highly suggest checking it out. I just wanted to share my own insights regarding this boss fight specifically. Um, okay, but let's say you're practicing this and you want as fast kill as possible, so you're gonna go for this type of strategy. Where you're just going for it and you're, you're kind of just trying to live on the middle platform. A lot of things can go wrong. Uh, one of the things that goes wrong for me all the time is I do not get the first turnaround. So instead of like panicking and like not really having any kind of plan of attack, uh, here's something that you can do. You go to this platform. You want to go all the way to the edge and turn around, hit him for three. Um, pretty much. I would say when the the eyeball, I guess that's an eyeball, the thing that looks like a crescent moon, hits the edge of the clown nose, the thick edge of the clown nose, that's a good time to jump. I kind of missed it. I didn't get the turn on, okay. The tank damage on here, you have to go all the way to the left to juke the flame. Yeah, I guess when he's like, when his body hits the big crack, you know, in, in the uh, the clown nose, the busted clown nose, it's when you jump from the right. I missed the first turn around, turn around. Tank damage, then go all the way to the left, go to the right. And uh, hit him on the left. That's a three cycle, still pretty good. Maybe not what you intended, but definitely salvageable, like if you're on pace. Tank damage, go all the way left, go to the right again. Don't 
totally beef that. Okay. Don't panic. Go left. Go to the right. And I guess if you mess that up, you are going to have to wait an extra cycle. I would say that not getting the turnaround is one of the worst case scenarios. Go left. But at least you can have, like, a plan of attack. You, that can still go wrong as well, obviously. But at least... And, you know, all this stuff... Can just, like, help make you not as nervous, maybe? Because this is totally a, a totally nerve-wracking fight. I missed the turn around. Okay, no problem. We do this. We go to the left, go back to there. I guess that's what I would do if you miss that. And you got a three cycle. It's still it's pretty it's not too shabby, man. It's pretty damn good. That was weird and interesting. Okay, ideally that's how that backup would go. Okay, so that's one scenario. Here's another one. Oh, you got the turnaround but you got jacked up. Almost. So if you get bonked by him, go to the wall, take another bonk, tank the flames, and then it's just like the end of the three cycle method where you're hugging the wall. I'll do it again. Again, a three cycle still. It's hard to, like, mimic this accident on purpose, if that makes any sense. Tank the body damage, get him for at least three, and you still have a good shot at getting a three cycle. Oh no, don't panic. Hug the wall, tank damage from him, tank the flame damage, and you still got a three cycle. Um, and uh, those aren't the only things that can go wrong. Like, I guess the worst, worst case scenario is not getting the jump at all. And in which case I would abandon the whole, like, fight from the middle column thing. You know, I would just try to fight him from the left. Um, there's tons of things that can go wrong. But, um... Those are some really good backups. Professor Retro. Ask Dr. Stupid. You guys remember that one? Like, I guess that's another scenario. Let's let's dissect that. I jumped too early. Then it's it's still very similar to not getting the turnaround. Try that again. That's another way. You still got a three cycle. All right, um, and that's basically it. You know, 
coming into this fight with, you know, no expectations and, um, you know, a lot of preparation. And the goal is, um, no matter what, no matter what, um, at least you have a plan to try and two and three cycle him, which is totally acceptable. <laughs> 